Hello, this is Kay, and in this video, I will talk about three numbers to protect your account as your strongest lifeguard. There are three important and critical numbers to keep in mind for your profit management and improve your trades over time. And this is something that I use every day, and my trade improved much better after learning this. The numbers are based on some simple calculations, and I will explain how to do it, but for those who don't want to calculate, I created a form so you can download it from my blog. I will put the link on the description below. So, let's begin. Okay, I will explain based on the slides about profit management three numbers to protect your account as your strongest lifeguard. First of all, you might have heard of this, but there is a principle of 20-80 ratio. It's one of the laws of numbers that almost everything is composed of 20 and 80% ratio. This is called Pareto principle. In the world of forex market, there is no exact stats, but it's said that among all traders, 10% have positive results and 20% are break even and the rest of 70% have to leave the game and you don't want to leave the game right otherwise you wouldn't be interested in this video so in order for you not to become a part of this 70% you need to learn to protect your account and your profit let me tell you one important thing especially if you are still a beginner in forex trading you have to remember that you have to survive the game Surviving the game means you, don't, you do not leave the game. If you do not end up with leaving the game, but keep learning, then your result will be break even at some stage, then eventually you will become profitable. Of course, you started the trading to win and make money, but you cannot keep making money from the beginning. Even advanced traders, it's impossible there are still times that they lose. So, the first thing you have to remember is to learn to survive. In other words, you cannot survive unless you learn. Learn both fundamental and technical skills to be able to read a chart and place orders, but the point is you need to learn these things to survive, not to keep winning. Technical tools are just like a sword to win a battle. In contrast, profit management is a shield. In forex trading, you cannot make profit unless you risk your own money. So you need something to protect it. Both requires techniques and whether it's technical tools or profit management technique, you need a skill to be able to use it in real trade. And when you have these technical skills and management skills, then you will have a chance to be break even then start making profit constantly afterwards. And these are just tools. And then, your mind is also an important factor because you are the one who use those tools. I often talk about mind on my videos and on my blog I created free personality tests for all the forex traders so that you know what mental state you are in. I will put the link below, so if you haven't tried it, you better do it because they are all based on the psychological researches at universities and institutes, and they are all free. Anyways, today I will talk about this one, about how to manage and protect your account. One of the important factors for your successful trading is the position sizing. Like how many lots you will put into a market or what is the right size of trading lots. If you are correct on the position sizing, you can increase your earning. Position sizing is just like a bullet, so to speak. If you want to survive in a battlefield called Forex, you never want to run out of bullets because that's going to be the end of the battle because you cannot fight anymore. So you need to know how to keep fighting without running out of bullets and what you have to decide and manage first is how much the right loss is. It depends on your account size. And regardless of your account size, in each trade, the position should not be exceeded more than 
2% of your whole account. Actually, I recommend you to start with 1% of loss cut for the first time. 2% might be too much for beginners. And if you don't know this kind of stuff, what's gonna happen is it'll end up with leaving the game. You cannot survive from trading in the long run. For example, what usually the beginners do is, let's say someone starts trading with $1,000 and because he's ambitious and he's got a full of dreams to win and gain money, if he's been trading with 0.5 lots and end up with negative 100 pips in the end of uh, the month, let's say, how much does he lose? Minus 100 pips with 0.5 lots. How much does he lose in the end? It's $500, and if he starts with $1,000, it's already half of his account, and that's a lot. And because he's lost half of it, he lost half of his bullets and still has to fight. He wants to get it back, right? Or he wants to make it break even. But when you think about it, if his winning rate is low and when his lost side is too much, the chance of winning back is very low because the fact is that he loses over time. If you do the same thing like this, that's something that you need to realize it first. I mean, imagine when you're in that kind of situation, you had $1,000 and lost $500. You might feel, oh my god, what should I do? And you've got a mental pressure to win back, and that's also making you difficult to bring it to break even, because you become worried and start to see things emotionally and try to take chances rather to follow your own strategy. In contrast, think of someone who starts trading with $10,000 in his account and does the same thing, trade with 0.5 lots and end up with losing 100 pips, which is $500. He still has $9,500 left in his account, right? Or when someone has $5,000 in his account, he just loses 10% in that case. He's got a still $4,500 left in his account. So here's a question. Which one do you think is psychologically difficult to keep trading? The answer is obvious, right? It's this person right here. Yes, if you increase a lot sizing to 1, to 2, to 3, then you might have an image that you can make money faster, but at the same time, it means you will lose your money faster. But in reality, People tend to trade with oversized positions and put lots and lots of pressure when they lose like half or two-thirds of their account. So what is the right position size? First of all, I want you to calculate your own average loss. Let's say you trade for a month and you had some loss. What you need to do is you add up all the losses and divide them into a number of trades for a month. And it depends. You know, depends on your trade style, like scalping looking at one minute chart or swing trade looking at daily or weekly charts. But let's say you are a day trader and you trade a couple times within a day. And when you calculate the average loss, let's say you find it 10 pips. That means every time you lose, you lose 10 pips in average for each trade. And if you start with $1,000 in your account, and you want to manage 1% of a loss on each trade. And in that case, you need to trade with 0.1 lot on each trade so that your loss cut will be $10 on each trade, which is 1% of your whole account, $1,000. Now, let's say you start with $5,000 and if your average loss is calculated to be 10 pips and wants to keep it 1% of loss on each trade, in that case, you can manage $50 loss on each trade, meaning on each trade can be with 0.5 lot. If you start trading with $10,000 and if your average loss is also 10 pips, then on each trade you can place 1.0 lot to make it $100 of loss on each trade, and you will be psychologically safe. All right, now I will talk about today's main topic. What three critical numbers that protect your account are 
number one winning rate and number two profit factor and number three error multiple and I want you to keep these three numbers in your mind as you keep trading winning rate is simple you divide your number of wins by the total number of trades and if it's 0.5 that means 50% so if you try 10 times you win 5 times and lose 5 times it's pretty obvious right and what profit factor is that you take all the profit you have been making and divide it by all your loss and if the result is 1 that means it's break even you're not winning but you're not losing money Finally, R multiple. This is another critical number to know, but you take average profit and divide it by average loss. This is in pips, not the profit, how much you made, but make sure it's in pips. But um, for example, when your average profit is 10 pips and your average loss is also 10 pips, then that's one R. Your R multiple becomes one. And if you have one R and if your winning rate is 0.5 50% then it becomes break even and based on these three numbers look at this table just to make it simple I made profit factor to be all 1.0 here and what I want to show you here is that when the number of our multiple becomes bigger you can have less winning rate for example when our multiple is 3 meaning when your average profit is three times bigger than your average loss then your winning rate can be 25% to be break even in contrast when your R multiple is low like 0.1 then your winning rate has to be 91% that is pretty unrealistic but it has to be 91% to be the PF to be 1, which is break even. To improve and raise the R multiple, and if you keep trading the way to maximize your R multiple, then your trading will be very stable. Winning rate is, well, this is just my idea, but you don't have to improve the winning rate so much. 50% is okay, but if you keep increasing your R multiple rate to 2 or 3, then you can trade in a very stable and safe way and this is the key to be successful in the long run so how can we improve the R multiple? what you need to focus on is the risk reward ratio I recommend you to trade where the risk to reward ratio can be 1 to 2 when you try to buy a chart like this focus on a place like this kind of situation and aim to take profit at this point as it shows on this green line and place your stop loss at this red line in this case from this position the distance of take profit line is about twice longer than to the stop loss risk to reward can be 1 to 2 if you're determined to find a place like this and focus only trade when you see this kind of situation it makes it way easier for you to trade with small lots and with big profit because you can always expect 1 to 2 ratio on every trade you execute now look at a trade in this kind of situation in this case the price goes up and down and at this price level when you buy or sell either way the ratio is 1 to 1 because the price is right in the middle of the range the risk to reward ratio is 1 to 1 and you cannot expect small loss with big profit and you cannot improve your R multiple in this kind of situation now of course you can raise the winning rate instead of uh, raising R multiple but this time on this video I recommend you to look for where small loss and big profit can be expected like I mentioned earlier I created a profit management sheet on Excel format and upload it on my blog so you can download the form if you would like it's free and monitor your current trade status look into your trades look into the current situation of how you trade recently by checking uh, you know three numbers winning rate PF and R multiple if you cannot 
use Excel, then you can just calculate it by yourself because they are not so complicated. In this Excel sheet, when you put numbers where it's gray, then it calculates our multiple and winning rate by itself. And if you keep losing, your target is to make winning rate to 0.5, which is 50%, and our multiple to be 1. But if you have our multiple more than 1 already, that's great. You are already a great trader and focus on increasing the R multiple even more. But like myself, when I just started the trading, usually people don't have R multiple 1. Usually it's below 1 first. So I think it's better to focus on hitting R multiple to be 1 first. And that's why I created this form. So if you would like, download it and take advantage of it. You know, especially for the beginners for uh, the forex trade, don't focus on winning too much. If you can survive from the market, that's already awesome. Survive means break even, and if you can be at that state, then the way to become a profitable trader is right a mile ahead. So I want you to have this mindset and keep trading in this manner. Alright, that's it. Thank you for watching my talk and please press a good button if you like this video and make sure to subscribe for my future videos. Cheers, bye!